he melts it, he moulds it. He's a master chocolatier. Please welcome Paul A. Young. I'm here to meet chocolatier Paul A. Young. And chocolatier Paul Young teaches me the art of tempering. Hi, guys. I'm here with chocolatier Paul A. Young. Next up, my guide to buying chocolate. And who better to ask than award-winning alchemist of the sweetest kind, Paul Young. Welcome to my new flagship store. It's in Soho on Wardour Street. Fantastic frontage looking onto two sides of Soho. I feel like I'm meeting chocolate royalty. Hey, Paul. Hi there. How are you doing? doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. So on, on the tray here, we've got the classics. A classic dark truffle, a champagne truffle. A classic now is salted caramel eight years ago, as you know. Salted caramel was, why on earth would you put salt yeah, in yeah, caramel? Yeah, yeah. But now it's become every day. Seville's were in in January, made of marmalade, and the ganache, the, the creamy filling, is brown toast blitzed into the chocolate. And, but it's exactly it what you like... taste. So how important is texture mm. to you, your chocolates? Chocolate is generally different shades of brown. Yeah. It's not the most exciting colour in the world. You've got to have different textures in a chocolate box now. Very important. There's a revolution in chocolate at the minute, especially in the UK. I think we are, generally in the UK, the most adventurous for flavour mm -hmm. as consumers and the most adventurous as chefs and chocolatiers and patissiers for innovation. It is all about the chocolate. If you've got good chocolate, you can make good chocolates and chocolate products. You can't make bad chocolate taste good. So the key thing that intimidates everybody, as we've said, is tempering. Tempering simply means introducing strength to the chocolate. So when you see a really shiny Easter egg or a shiny bar of chocolate, you know the chocolate's tempered. Once you've spread out and it's even thickness... Thank God, I've done this yet. You have to work quick or it'll set it. or go lumpy. Scrape the chocolate in. done it yet, hang on. If that goes lumpy, we'll have to start all over again. Oh, no. Right, swap hands. Do as told. <laughs> you are definitely the most qualified person to answer this. Why do we love British chocolate so much? It makes us really happy. It does. It, it does. We're so happy. It's, it's not just the sugar, it's the feeling, the texture, the nostalgic reminiscence of childhood of when you first had it. Hand anyone chocolate and they'll smile. There are chocolate from all around the world. America, Belgium, Switzerland, Holland, France, you name it. And it's all specifically different and tailored to the palate of the country. Do you think most people would be able to tell the difference between these four types of chocolate? I think they will. And I think the British chocolate will be the most popular. Have a winner on yes. our hands. Really? Yes. Is well, the British chocolate. Well done. So obviously people still love British chocolate. But no one's picked American. No one's picked American. Feeling creative? Yeah. Come on then, follow me down to the chocolate kitchen and we'll get going. Uh. Are you ready to go? Yeah. You ready to get messy? Yeah. Who's the cleanest and who's the messiest? I'm looking forward to these. Wow, that's going to be nice and spicy. We've got some future master chocolatiers here, I think. My mum really wants me to be a chocolatier. Does she? Yeah. Right. We can sort that out. I've got quite a big bit of chilli then. Sorry. Does chocolate make you fat? If you eat a lot of it, yes, it's still calorific. Hmm. But if you eat pure chocolate, it doesn't contain the vegetable fat. It doesn't contain the artificial ingredients, mainly palm oil or vegetable fat. So have chocolate that doesn't contain that, you're going to get lower calories from fat. So what have you got for right. us? Three chocolatey things you can make in the next few days before Christmas as presents. Mm. All right. Popcorn bars, chocolate bowls made with water balloons, and okay. Christmas pudding truffles. Oh, they look Ooh. fantastic. All of them are super, super, super easy. This is melted dark and white chocolate. Dip the balloon. Just chocolate. Just chocolate. Just over halfway up. My, mine's quite small, so I go a bit further. You can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, dear. She just took my line. We haven't had a drink, have we? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> OK, I love that. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the story of my life. Yeah. Right, we'll pop okay, it on the so we're gonna pop, pop it on, on the tray, tray here. <laughs> so, okay, again, we'll put Mel's on. Look, there's Mel. <laughs> that was brilliant. Every element of this dessert is just outstanding. That looks fantastic. I think with the chocolate shards on there, it looks very retro. Oh, that is like a word we can't say on television. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything better than chocolate? They say sex, but I'm totally overrated. 